Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radacat. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set colors in Power BI visuals and charts dynamically in a way that each data point follow the same color. For example, here you see in this chart, uh, high school is purple, but in this one, high school is blue. Um, how you can create a visual or a report like this, which you have the same color for high school across all different kinds of visuals, reports, how this is possible in Power BI, let's check it out. Let me first explain the problem uh, in detail so that then we can talk about the solution. So in Power BI, some of the charts come with um, default colors. For example, if you create donut chart, pie chart, tree map, some of the visuals comes with this default coloring. For example, here you see that this donut chart by default, this pie chart by default comes with some coloring. You can of course change it. Some other visuals, they don't have a default color, like for example, this visual. Uh, all of these are the same color unless I use a field in the legend. Uh, but if I want to change the coloring of that, I can of course go to the format, to columns, uh, and here I can say show all um, and set the color. For example, if I want to follow the same coloring of the other chart, for example, I want higher school to be purple, I can come here and choose purple for higher school and it would change that. And I can change all others. So, if you want to have the same color across multiple charts, it's a manual job like this. Uh, now, when you create a chart and you want to like copy this formatting to another chart, you can use things such as Format Painter, which would make it easier. However, still, if you have like five visuals in here, you have to click on this Format Painter and then click on the other one so that you can uh, do that formatting for all of those as a copy and paste of the format. Um, and if like in the future you decide that high school purple is not a good color, you want to change high school to green, then you have to go to each of those and change it to green. Or again, you have to use Format Painter for each of those, right? After setting one of those as a sample. Uh, in Power BI, we also have the um, theme that you can see in the view tab. And with themes, you can go and actually uh, set the um, set the colors. You can say, for example, the first color to be this, the second color to be this. You can choose each of the colors. But the problem is that these colors are not per data points. This is like the color that have the first value, the second value, things like that. But if you want to uh, assign a color to a data point, for example, you want to say bachelors to be always green, partial college to be always red, something like that is not by default available at the moment in Power BI. Uh, it would be available in the future, I'm pretty sure, but for now it's not available. So this uh, video, I'm going to talk about how something like this is possible with uh, much less maintenance effort than any of these methods we talked about and, and achieve something like, like this. So first stage is to create a table for the color. Now this table can be created in a lot of different ways. You can create this in the data source, like for example, if data is coming from Excel, you can create a sheet or tab in Excel and create a table like that. I'll show you what the table looks like. This is my color table for now, don't worry about the formula. This is the color table. So I have two columns basically. One column is the value of English education. This is the value that I want to set the color for that. The other one is the color itself, right? I can use some of the color names or I can use the hex code as you can see over here. And um, and I can create this table even in Power BI using the inter data. This will give me the ability to build a table right here. Um, I would recommend in production scenarios to create this table outside of Power BI because then when you change it, you don't need to come and open the PBIX file. If you have it in Power BI for every change, you have to come to PBIX file. So ideally you want to put it in the data source. In this example, I kept it inside the Power BI because it's just like a demo I'm presenting to you. So first you create that table. After creating this table, then um, there are two ways to identify what color is assigned to each table when you show it in a visual. One way is to connect this table to, to the table that you have uh, that field value in it. English education, for example, is 
the table. So one way is to connect these two together, but it depends on the cardinality of these. For example, if I create this relationship, this would be one to many, let's say this is many relationship and it would be single directional like that. If I um, want this to filter that and I get the color out of it, I need to make it both directional. It comes with some challenges and things like that. So instead of doing the relationship, what I would do is I would keep it separate like a parameter table pattern in DAX. I would keep it separate, but I would write a formula, a DAX expression that would give me the color for the given education selected in the customer table. For example, if I have a if I have a visual like this, that I have sales amount in it and education, English education. So this is a visual like this uh, for every selected education. I want to get that color. So I have this formula written. It's not a complicated formula. It's pretty simple. It uses two functions. One is selected value. This selected value tells me what value is selected in the uh, what education value is selected in the customer table. Then based on that, we look up inside the color table. I named it color. You can call it whatever. I pick the color value, but for those value for that for the record that the data value matches the English education. For example, if here high school is selected it will give me higher school in the other table. It's kind of like creating a virtual relationship between this table and the team customer. You can use many other functions to do that. Filter, treat as, many other functions give you that functionality. And light blue is in case nothing is selected. Uh, so I have this formula, this DAX measure. After creating this DAX measure, and it has to be a measure, then I can use that in a conditional formatting of a chart. So in, in this chart, I can go to the format in a place that I set for color for this visual. For example, here under column colors, I click on FX. This will, uh, this will enable conditional formatting for this. There are different ways to do conditional formatting. I have a video, an article explaining that. But in this case, we are going to choose format style as field value. Once you select that, then you can choose a measure that gives you the, that color. In our case, that measure is under color table. I call it data color. So I'll select that and I click on OK. As soon as I make that change, I see these are the colors coming from the table that I specified. Um, and it's just showed here. Now I can have multiple visuals and they can all have the same coloring. For example, even if I have a pie chart, with sales amount, uh, with sales amount and English education. It comes by default with that set of coloring, but then I would say format painter this so that this is using that conditional formatting, but I need to do this once. I don't need to do this every time I change the color. I can have uh, like a table visual. Let me show you the rest in here. I can have a table visual uh, or matrix and I have conditional formatting on the column that I want or, or any other visuals. Here you see I have four different visuals using the same conditional formatting. So that is the solution. Now the beauty of this solution is that it's really easy to maintain. So whenever you want to change these colors, um, you can go to wherever you have that table as a source. In my case, I entered data, so I'll go and change that in the Power Query. And that is one of the reasons I suggested that you create it outside of Power BI. So here I go and edit the values here and let's say I want to have a different color. Now you can also use uh, you can also use some of the color picker options to give you a color. For example, here I have the Google color picker that I can go and choose any color that I want. Let's say for example something like this, which I don't have in set of colors. Then you can copy the hex code with that number sign character or hash character um, and I can come and paste it anywhere here I want like for example in here all of these can be hex codes and you can also use the hex code that you have as your company colors or anything like that when you click on OK and uh, close and apply ideally if it is in a data source you would just refresh Power BI data set this would then apply that change immediately and you should see that change appearing right here across all visuals, all pages that you have used that kind of formatting. So the answer to this solution is pretty much conditional formatting, using a parameter table, 
Uh, I'm sure a feature like this would be available um, sometime in the future in Power BI so that you can set a data, um, so you can set a color to a data point. But in the meantime, this is a solution that is easy to set up, easy to maintain, uh, and you can use it anywhere you like. Uh, there are some links that I explained more about DAX conditional formatting, about those functions, DAX functions that I use, lookup value, selected value, things like that. Please check the link down in the description below that goes to my blog article and you can get those links and learn more about Power BI. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and also we do training, in consulting and mentoring on Power BI. So if you have any questions or if you need to be upskilled in Power BI, feel free to reach out to us using the contact us button in our website. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, bye.